بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Okay, we'll continue discussing our subject, uh, the hematology course. Now we will discuss the blood groups and blood transfusion. These are the classic blood groups. A, B, AB, and O. The A and B and AB, these are antigens. They are present on the series of the red blood cells. Genetically inherited from birth till death. A blood group or type A blood, there are A antigens on the surface of the red blood cells or agglutinogen A. In the plasma of these people, type A blood, there are antibodies or agglutinin anti B or B or beta agglutinins. Type B blood, there are B antigens or agglutinogen B. In the plasma of these people, there are antibodies, alpha antibodies or agglutinin anti A. AB or type AB blood, both antigens are present on the surface of the red blood cells. But there are no antibodies in plasma. While type O blood, there are no antigens on the surface of the red blood cells. But there are both antibodies in the plasma. Antibody a and B. These antigens genetically inherited from birth till death. The antibody, these antigens also they are present or we can trace them in other tissues. I mean the A and B antigens such as in salivary glands, pancreas, kidney, liver, lungs, testis, semen, and amniotic fluids. But the antibodies in plasma, they are not present in the newborn babies. They occur naturally from the second month gradually they increase. They occur naturally the alpha and beta antibodies. But sometimes they do not occur at all. These people which they don't have these antibodies, they don't develop these antibodies unless they are exposed to the RBCs from another individual. You see, the plasma contains antibodies against the A and B antigens, anti-A or alpha or anti-B or beta. These agglutinins are not present at birth. They appear between second month and eighth gradually through the life. Most probably these antibodies they appear because of the antigens present in the food or in the bacteria in the environment. The inheritance of these blood groups, the classic blood groups, the A blood group, this is the genotype. When we say A, the phenotype. The A type, either 
homozygous or heterozygous. Yeah, either AA or AO. Similar, the B blood group, either BB or BO. The group AB has both A and B antigens. While O blood group has no uh, antigens and also these antigens recessive, possibly the genotype is O O. And then now you have an idea about the classic blood groups. You see there are other blood groups in addition to the classic blood groups on the surface of the red blood cells. On the surface of human red blood cells are found a series of genetically determined glycoproteins or glycolipids that act as a blood group antigen. They appear in the early fetal life and remain unchanged throughout the life. More than 100 blood antigens have been described, out of which at least 15 will define red blood cell group systems exist in most racial groups. Of these, only two are major importance in clinical, in clinical medicine the ABO and recess blood group. Anyway, these are the most important blood groups. MN, MN, NN, PP, PP, Kel, Lewis, Kid, Lutheran, Duffy, and many others. Then these are the other blood groups in addition to the classic blood groups and are actually blood group. How about recess blood group? The recess blood group system described on the basis of the presence or absence of the recess antigen, the D antigen, on the surface of the red blood cells. If present, an individual is said to be D positive or RH positive. In 85 of Europeans, 90 to 95 of Arabs and Africans, and 98 of the Asians are, are, uh, are, are RH negative or D positive. If absent, the individual is described as D antigen, D negative or RH negative. It means that 80, 85 of the Europeans, they have these antigens on the surface of the red blood cell. They remain, but in these 85, they don't have antibodies in the plasma against this D antigen. In the remain 15, there are no antigens, neither antibodies in the plasma. Recess antigens, there are at least three sets of alternative antigens in the RH system. D or D recessive, C or C, E or E, however, D is a strong antigen and therefore clinically more important than the others. In the blood banks, RH grouping is performed with the anti D. Sierra. You see, this is the racial distribution of blood groups by percent in the United States. The whites, A41, B10, AB4, O45. Blacks, you see, A28, 25, 47, are at you see 90 and 10 and the whites 85 and 15 chinese 28 23 13 36 99 and 1 
and no RH negative. Jordanians, you know, uh, study in about 300 students, 39A, 14B, 8AB, and 37O, 97RH positive and 3RH negative. Anyway, in all races, you see the highest is the O blood group. And there is variation in the RH blood groups. RH blood group, either homozygous or heterozygous, the positive, while the uh, negative to recessive. In this case, all the children are uh, positive. They have positive RH blood group. In this case, 50-50. The importance of this blood group comes from If the fetus are at blood group and some of the blood of this fetus passes into maternal blood, the mother develops antibodies. Either in any case, whatever from the fetus to the mother or from person positive to negative, the negative develops antibodies against the RH positive red blood cells. If these antibodies pass from the mother into the fetus, then depending on the amount of antibodies, the RH blood cells, the positive, they agglutinate. It's an agglutination of red blood cells because the antibodies bind to the antigens of the red blood cells, agglutination. The importance comes from marriage positive man with the negative woman and the fetus or the baby uh, becomes positive, then if blood passes from the fetus into the maternal blood, then the negative mother develops antibodies. These antibodies, they pass easily into the fetal blood agglutination. Okay. And hemolytic diseases of the newborn can occur. 